Hi, in this video we'll learn how to create a wizard web panel using WordPress. Plus. We're going to create a wizard like this mockup we have here on the screen where we're going to create a person, we're going to add emails for it and then we're going to select the project the person will be doing. So let's create this wizard with WordPress. Plus. We're going to create a new web panel Then we're going to the Patterns tab and we're going to apply Word with Plus. We have to select which template we're going to use to create this wizard. So we have two types, two different types, bullet type and arrow type. Now I'm going to use arrow type. Okay, and now we have a ready wizard so we can start adding the different steps of it. First of all, we're going to add a step, a welcome step, where we can tell the user the, the purpose of this wizard or give the user any information we think is relevant here. Okay. Then we're going to create the, the step to create the data, to add the person data. Uh, so we're going to select the step data. And here we're going to add the, the attributes we need for this person. So I'm going to create a new variable using the person transaction as business component. Here I'm going to select just four attributes, okay? Person first name, person last name, person nickname, and person birth date, just as an example. And I'm going to set these properties here. Now the third step is going to let the user add emails for this new person. So we're going to select the template Add Grid Items. Here we're going to use an structured data type that I have already defined where I'm going to save the email data. Okay, I'm going to set these variables so the user can insert uh, information there. And now I'm going to set these properties. Okay, this uh, data type I have used is the one I have here. It's just a collection with uh, the information of the person emails. Now I'm going to add a new step where I'm going to select the projects that the person will be doing on the company. So I'm going to use the step select grid items. Here I'm going to add just some attributes of the project. For example, the ID, the status and the description. Okay. Once again, I have to set the code and title of the step. And now I'm going to add the last step where I'm going to show the user that the wizard has a uh, finish. Okay, so I add the last step. Okay, here I can sa save the, the wizard and I'm going to show you the data type that, that Word with Plus has created to manage this wizard. This structure data type has the structure to save the wizard of every step that we have added. Okay, so Word with Plus is going to save the information 
between the steps in the session, in the web session, so we always have that information available to use. Now we have to add the code necessary to insert data. So we're going to go to the step three, we're going to open it, and we have to add two blocks of code. The first one here in the event do insert, where we have to add the following code. Here you can see that you have example code. You only have to customize this example code to the example you are doing. Okay? So we add this code. This code is going to be used to insert a new line on the grid. So you can insert one more email. And then we're going to add the code to delete an inserted email. Okay? So you can add one more email or remove an email that you have added on the, on the grid. Here is the same idea. You have an example code and you have to customize this code according to your example. Okay? And now we have to add the code to insert the data in the, in the database. We're going to add this code on the wizard next uh, action on the last step. So here we are going to add the code to insert the person in the, in the database to add the emails for this person and then to associate the project with the person. Okay? On the documents that are attached with this video, you will see in detail how to add this code and the variables needed to be declared. Okay? So now we're ready to run the example and see how it works on runtime. I have to log in as I'm using GAM on this uh, knowledge base. And now I can see the, the wizard. I'm going to add the, the data. Then I have to add the mails. I can add a new more email. I can remove a previous email and then I can select the projects. I'm going to select design, quality and testing. And finally, I'm going to finish. Now I'm going to the person selection to verify the, the data. Okay? This is the, the record I have inserted now. And I can see that the emails were added and the projects too. So in this way, we create in just a few minutes a wizard, a complex screen like a wizard using Word with Plus.